rj trades if you are new and have not subscribed don't forget to like and subscribe i make a lot of this video every day and also i go live in the morning so don't forget to join me i click that uh, subscribe and bell button so you get all the updates about my video so today we're gonna talk about neo and uh, neo and kind of fastly big drop as well but kind of how i traded neo and how you should do so we'll we'll re review so neo so all it all started with jp morgan upgrades right so uh, jp morgan had upgrade uh, let me find that article somewhere around here what was the exact upgrade jp morgan neo upgrade so what happened was jp morgan upgraded uh, neo with uh, 40 so uh, we could see in barons or whatever but basically they updated like 40 from 14 almost double right so what they they said was uh, 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 chinese ev market is really huge and it's about five percent today and it will be almost uh, 20 to 25 percent uh, within uh, 2025 which is huge and also the price target was huge from 14 to 40 usually it happens you know incremental you know 14 to 20 25 but this was more than a double right so huge huge and uh, yeah as you can see that at 20 percent by 2025 uh, right now it's less than five percent so what their uh, thesis was uh, if the market uh, to total overall addressable market grows uh, neo will get advantage over even tesla if you look at like uh, usually china have their pretty much every car like for google they have a baidu their uh, facebook they have their own things uh, for amazon they have alibaba uh, and pretty much everything right so they have their own thing and chinese market is really huge and the other thing is china uh, the car sales they are number one they outpace the, any country in the world so they are the biggest market for uh, the vehicle so and they are going ev really and government is putting a lot of money a lot of funding and also a lot of initiatives to buy up electric vehicle so they wanna they are one of the huge producer of carbon so they want to be carbon neutral and uh, they are uh, giving a huge focus on ev so it was a big news pretty big news but so huge upgrade so we gapped up today pretty up gap so if you got in yesterday you got lucky right so you got like you made tons so if you look at here we had our previous rest and somewhere around 21 somewhere but yesterday we closed around 2162 and today boom we gapped up huge so uh, we can kind of look into how i did the whole day So it was pretty interesting day. Yeah, so that's, yeah. I just wanted to see how, I was kind of looking in the morning and uh, I was looking, I was live too. And I got in somewhere around this uh, 940, 945. So what happened was we opened up red, uh, uh, we opened up, uh, gapped up pretty much, a little bit of red then came in, but the volume was insane. Within like 15, 20 minutes, the volume was literally like if you look at the volume today's volume has 380 million average volume is 93 million it was like 80 something i think this kind of uh, increased the average but if you look at that it's crazy the average volume is 93 it's um uh, four times like 400 times right so that's that's a huge huge and they were almost 60 70 million by within 10 15 minutes a lot of volume was coming in overall market was kind of iffy not really strong uh, mostly red but uh, new was doing really great so as exactly like how do you do with the daily candle right so there was a daily high then we kind of consolidated we kind of tested as soon as we things and market the volume was coming in the look at that this is 20 20 basically 20 minutes if it's a minute chart but look at the volume was this and it was same with the day and everything the volume was insane i could not ignore then you can see that we just started ripping higher 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 i sold it somewhere around here uh, i sold uh, my initial lot i was a scaling and what i mean by scaling and just i got some here i got some here i got some here i just keep adding then i started selling like um, i didn't sell some somewhere around here but here i started selling it was way overextended also if you look at the vwap uh, it was kind of perfect right so vwap right so we dropped down above vwap kind of vwap 
acted as a support and nice support and it was way over there then i felt like it was kind of overextended right so i sold somewhere around here as soon as i started seeing some red candles i sold somewhere and i i scaled out pretty much my initial position i sold it i got in sold it that was done then what happened i have my vvap and everything and we started kind of it was kind of struggling and uh, we started a downtrend right then it was i drew a you can draw a trend line again right trend line again and again look at the vvap as soon as it came vvap it acted good support good support and it started kind of going up going up going up right then i got in like i didn't get in right here but i got in somewhere around here i even got in somewhere around here it was in uptrend and it was kind of going up then you could literally do a trend line again it was so such a great setup then i started a trend line and look at that perfect bounce that's why you don't buy at the high you don't buy here that is uncertainty but you if you see bounces of this trend line you buy it right here and look at this and we started going higher 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 then uh, then finally it just started breaking trend line i sold it but i could i should have literally kept it and it kept going like uh, i think i was out of that uh, pretty much uh, out of this uh, uh, I, then I was kind of done like uh, I made good money so I was done later on what I did was uh, basically somewhere around here I have seen uh, maybe it's uh, kind of my yellow um, yellow uh, oh man they are up pre-market that's bad for me so I, I grabbed some puts some put spread two weeks out usually you know after this uh, I have seen at least Neo usually after a huge run up they usually uh, go down but uh, a lot of people got in call that's good uh, i got some puts so i have two weeks out so uh, not not a huge amount but uh, a couple thousand so let's see how they do i do have time uh, it's two weeks out so let me hold it uh, let's see tomorrow but it seems like they are up uh, after hours too this is crazy what a strength they are showing crazy crazy strength so we are right here wow so we are actually like uh, uh, pretty much intraday high so they are very strong well so yeah uh, so great day great day overall and a lot of people uh, came in and they banked on it but look at that we kind of perfectly hit the vwap and boom and we just and looks like oh wow we are actually at uh, um, the day, day high so that's good so i mean if you got called congrats if you got put probably not a good then good good Okay, so that was for Neo. Really good trade. I did not even trade it. Others, I had some other positions I closed and whatever, but um, didn't really play anything. Uh, so that that was for Neo. So really good setup. I just wanted to review how you should do that. Always make a trend line and always have a stop loss too, right? So this is there. So if you got in here, maybe had it some stop loss right around here, right? So if it goes good, and once you are go, you can raise your stop right here, right here. You can just. Uh, go with the trend right but overall great trend i mean you could just uh, even if you didn't want it that you could just do like this or whatever you know if you got in somewhere around here you could just do this too right so a lot of way to um, play neo and it was really great um, i loved it great day for neo so um, if you got in congrats but now we're gonna look into fastly and some other tickers i'm thinking what's gonna happen tomorrow and let's look at um, fastly so fastly was kind of overextended what i mean by kind of overextended is like for no reason they didn't have any news or something it just went um, it just went ham right so it just went ham for no reason so it did had a pretty good pullback today uh, uh so um, but it was kind of decent pullback since it went so high in a very short time without any reason like li literally there was not not any catalyst and that's one of the problems with the beta stock is like if they get a small small bad news they drop pretty hard and that's why that's one of the reason you should always diversify your portfolio right so if you have your long term short term doesn't matter right like you're dreading like uh, probably should do with a small amount but for this right um I did added some uh, some uh, the, some positions around 93 94 but I added I added more today uh, in this drop I added at uh, 88 
so uh, i think this is just an overreaction definitely not good like they reduced their guidance anyway so what happened was they release a guidance right so from time to time they release that but you can see that in the website if you go to investor.fastly you can see that and you can even read it so fastly now expect third quarter 2020 total revenue of 70 to 71 compared to its previous guidance for 73.5 to 75 so previously they told like their total revenue for a uh, third quarter gonna be uh, between the 73.5 to 75.5 but they said now it won't be that much it will be just 70 to 71 so about 2.5 to uh, 4 million yeah uh, average you will say like 3 million less than what they expected um, because of covid or whatever so that happened so huge drop look at that they literally dumped what um, almost 26 percent after hour it was uh, almost 30 percent at one point so kind of going up but one thing i noticed was it's kind of settling around that area 90s area so uh, could be a good one and you can see that uh, it was in this channel for a while and it went past that channel and it's kind of coming back up so um kind of healthy pullback to it needed some rest uh, actually it was really overextended short time really quick uh, so uh, let's see what happened but one thing uh, probably i you should notice was uh, i think it's going to impact a lot of this uh, uh, cloud stock right so if you see net net is basically the same uh, same business as fastly and they actually dropped um, six percent after hours net is also kind of overextended for pretty much like it's it's like a pretty much fastly news right fastly went up too high that's why it's like it went up too but now you can see that it's like here and it's gonna go uh, probably drop a little bit more but it's already um, down uh, six seven percent so uh, it was moving really quick same thing with the uh, i think t doc had same thing so t doc had same thing right t doc also is uh, not much but um, two percent down so tdoc is still in this range so same with i i thought uh, twilo 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 also was down a little bit um three percent almost so um, it's been also like from their uh whatever i think what was that i think the somebody raised i think they have an investor event or something i forgot what was the event there was some event then it, they gapped up and after that they've been running since and they probably will come to this range 270 to 280 so that's when i may kind of slowly add some positions on it again i like these stocks but uh, one of the thing is like if there's some bad news there's so much expectation with this stock that's why they are going so on the growth and everything but if something drops um, it impacts a lot of those so um yeah so overall i think docu was uh, docu had an upgrade but it didn't really do well so they had an upgrade uh, and went up to like what uh, went up to uh, 45 uh, at one point then uh, closed down 36 and they are down more in the after hours so uh, probably like uh, fastly is not helping so seems like you know, for me it looks like tomorrow may not be a great day for all this um, cloudy stock but let's see uh, sometimes uh, we may get uh, bought up the dip so we may kind of come up but if you look at the futures too both uh, nq uh, oh my it's closed so it's gonna open up in yeah uh, i think it's gonna open up in about 15 minutes but uh, so far it looks uh, a little bit down uh, flat to down but one thing was like we literally went ham like we went uh, pretty straight up uh, like we how we went down we kind of went straight up so probably need some pullback but overall uh, uh looks pretty good so let me know if you have any question or comment um comment below that's about for for today's review thanks